Hey people, Zar Swamp here, and welcome to episode 31 of Dagonrampa V3. Last time we started the second glass trial, we found out that the secret behind Himiko's little water tank trick, and in the and Mew started assuming that the classic the butler slash maid did it by accusing, sorry, Kurumi that of being the killer. But anyways, let's get moving. Too soon to tell. We should hear what everyone has to say, right? Fuck that noise. But Mew, you don't have an alibi for when the crime. Oh my you. gosh. Kokichi's gonna come in. He's gonna come in with his weird woman underwear story. And why do I have the feeling that it's gonna be Mew? Think I'm suspicious? Uh, I don't even know where the gym is. You were in the gym, Mew. Hey man, Sumugi. The other two without alibis are Kaito and Maki. Let us hear your testimonies. I was in my research lab the whole time. I didn't go to the gym. But that cannot be proven, can it? What about Kaito? Only murderers grow out creepy facial hair like mustaches and goatees. <laughs> oh my gosh, in which case, Kokichi would love to meet Larry Butts. What? My goatee's not creepy. It gives me a glamorous celebrity vibe. No, it doesn't. Anyway, among those four, the culprit must be the one who doesn't have an alibi. And in your mind, Tango, the only one that has a penis. I apologize, but given the circumstances, we have no choice but to suspect you. Suspect who? Who's the culprit? <laughs> Wait up! Why are you guys suspicious of me? I've been helping the whole time! Wait! Remember now, I do have an alibi. Oh really, Kaido? You saying you help, that doesn't give, that gives you an alibi? That, Kayate was helping! We were playing as Kayate! We were doing the investigation! Yeah, Kayate was a murderer! How do I know you're not a murderer? I don't know anymore! I am suspicious as the trial progresses. No Yippee! Oh no! The mass pack debate is gonna start! That's what you're thinking, right? Well, you're exactly correct, buddy. Let me give you another tutorial first. The mass panic date this time around will have loud voice dialogue. When it when it's when it's when one of your opponents shouts their opinion in a loud voice. This blocks out everyone's arguments. Even if you see a weak spot, you can't refute it. Oh no! What do you I do then? That's what you're thinking, right? Luckily, it's just like white nose. Shut him up with the A button silencer. After that, all the arguments will be audi audible again. But when you shoot a truth bullet at the weak points, you know the drill. Thank you for understanding. Let's see what we have for choices. Ah, oh, come on! Kokichi's account. Yeah. What's Maki's alibi? Well, then right before night time, I got tired and... Okay. Did you really leave the gym at 9pm? Are you sure you did not stay at the gym? No, in my own room! I need to throw out everyone's statement, just like Kayate did. I need to calm down, focus on one at a time. Let me just see them. What is your alibi? Maki was in her door last night. She stayed. When I was running from the house, I was trying hiding in the girls' bathroom. Things got a little heated to catch my door. That's not perfect. Stay out of this, Tango. Did you really leave the gym at 9 p.m.? Are you sure you did not stay at the gym? No, in my own room. I don't even know what. Entering the pool. Okay. I don't know. What's Maki's alibi? Well, then right before 
Oh, come on. Really I was Are you sure you did not stay at the gym? No, in my own room. I just want to make sure. I thought they were talking about Maki. I don't know. I get confused. What is your Oh, it's probably gonna be Kokichi's account. Probably gonna be like. It's probably gonna be like, oh, Kokichi saw a girl. I'm probably gonna have to do that. Then right before nighttime, I got tired and fell asleep. Did you really leave the gym at 9 p.m.? Okay. Are you sure you did not stay at the gym? No, in my own room. Okay, apparently I do have to do that. You know, it's kind of obvious that it's Mew that they're talking about. Because, like, I mean, put the dots together. Mew's in bed, use her womanly oh, charms. Woman is telling the truth. Kokichi's story proves it. Right when I got to the entrance hall, Karumi spotted me. Right, that was right when I left Alter's lab. So, wait, can I just check one thing? Can I just check one thing? I know I'm cutting myself off. I know I'm depriving you of my beautiful Kokichi voice. I just want to see something. Oh, Karumi. That was when I got to left Gonta's lab, so it was around 9 p.m. She started throwing questions at me left and right, asking if I was acting no good. And I said, no, mommy, I am doing good. See? See, I am doing good. I'm brushing my teeth and flossing and going to, and going to the bathroom for more baby by time. She just kept talking, and then finally let me go at 10 p.m. when nighttime rolled around. A whole hour? Well, only the first half hour was a lecture. Then we played tag for the other half. Kokichi met Kirumi at 9 p.m., and they were together until nighttime. Okay, good. Don't you went to the gym to catch Himiko and Angie five minutes before 9 o'clock. After I left Gonta's lab, I ran into Kirumi. I'm pretty sure Kirumi stayed at the gym five minutes till nine o'clock. <laughs> this information could have been told to us beforehand. Sorry, forgot. I definitely didn't keep it a secret to make the trial more interesting. Never change, Kokichi. Never change. Forgot? It seems far more plausible that you are telling another lie. Unlike robots, we meatbags can't pull out our memories from our hard drives. We are human beings! We ha but we have the power of friendship! You have the power of friendship! Alright, you're like Omega from the Sonic series. Who has friends with a bat and an emo hedgehog. Was that supposed to offend me? Your irrationality fills me with pity. If I am the culprit, that would mean I killed Ryoma within five minutes. Yeah. Transported him to the gym and hid him in the piranha tank. This seems highly unlikely. True, true. I just thought because of the curtains, you know. If you called Riona out to the gym and killed him there, you wouldn't need to move him. But then again, we can't just throw anything off the table. I mean, anything's possible. All you would have to do is hide him in the piranha tank. Gonta was in the midst of heading to the gym to capture Angie. Are you claiming I took advantage of that and called Ryoma for a rendezvous at the gym? Um, that would be pretty difficult. We should probably look at other possibilities. Maybe someone snuck into the gym while Kirumi and I were busy talking. The only ones capable of that are the other three with no alibis. Mio, Kaito, and Maki! Ah, you're including me too? Here it comes! But there's actually one person we can rule out of the suspects list. Oh, Kokichi. Kokichi, he's coming. You see that look on his face. He's going to drop the other part of his testimony. Right? There's one person who's totally not suspicious. Say who it is already. One person who can be eliminated as a suspect, according to Kokichi. He has to be talked about the figure he saw. We need to pin down who it was. The key to that fact lies in Kokichi Gonta and Mew's statements. According to what we know, that figure Kokichi saw must be Mew. Oh, sorry. I keep thinking it's the A button. Kokichi, you're talking about Mew, right? What? Mew? 
Yeah, you can take her off the list. She actually has an alibi. Oh, it, uh, it's a great alibi. It fills me with joy and amusement. I don't think you should be happy because of uh, what well, I think it is. Wait a sec, since when does she have an alibi? Like, well, you were running around in lingerie. If you compare everyone's statements, there's no other possibility. Oh yeah, I did see something odd while Karumi was lecturing me. Some Something odd. I saw a half-naked girl wandering around the courtyard in her underwear. It was too dark for me to make out who it was, but I saw her walk around for a bit. A girl walking around half naked? Who else could it be? But the horny exhibitionist Mew. <laughs> well, we can't just jump to conclusions like that. He just saw a shadow, right? I don't think you can mistake lingerie for a shadow, Kaido. That could have been anyone walking around in women's underwear. Even me! Okay, thank you for ruining that mental image for me, Kaido, and burning it into my mind. That'd be a whole different issue. No, it's Mew, without a doubt. Mew and Gonta statements prove it. Oh, Gonta see Mew, but Gonta's face get red hot, so Gonta could not bring her. Your face got red hot? You mean like you were hot on her tail, right? No, um, she used her, what she caught, secret woman weapon, and then... Hmm? Uh-oh, oh, um, well... I, uh, I had to use my secret woman weapon, and let, let's just leave it at that. I see, I see. It sounds like Gonta got an eyeful, hmm? Hey, don't, don't be putting Gonta in the perf wagon. He is a gentleman. It's Mew we're talking about. She could have just been taking a midnight stroll, for all we know. Well, because, you know, I'm pretty stacked, so... I figured I'd take my clothes off, so Gonta would be too flustered to touch me. What type of reasoning is that? Like some Mikan-style martial arts? <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it, you cockroaches! Actually, no, if it was a Mikan-style martial arts, she'd just trip and show off her panties. Or knowing me, she probably doesn't even wear panties. What the? Anyway, I think the blood rushed to both of Gonta's. Oh my god! Super embarrassed. Yeah, and people say Mikan is fan service. What's this? Mew's just stripping down and giving Gonta a happy dance. And look at Gonta, he's traumatized. Now Karumi's gonna have to give him a give him the talk because God knows that she's the only one equipped on this entire school to give Gonta the talk. Look at him! God doesn't know what's happening! God is scared! God's gonna need therapy! Too bad Monica killed the ultimate therapist! Cause otherwise Gonta, she could he could go to her! Mew was in her underwear and Gonta got weird feelings. Look at this! You're giving Gonta thoughts he's never had before! He can't process this! Poor Gonta, look at him! Look at him! That's the base of traumatization! So, Gonta ran away. Gonta's pants get all tight, and Gonta gets scared! Well, when you got the body of a goddess, it's only natural to want to flaunt it. I show my panties to the boys all the time. Swear! And I mean, all the time. What do you mean, Suichi hasn't seen those panties? So you're welcome, Gonta. Think of me during your next tug session. Gonta doesn't have tug sessions! Gonta doesn't do that, Mew, because Gonta is a gentleman! Most of that was unintelligible nonsense, but it would seem that Mew has an actual alibi. Yep, it took a while, but at least we got everyone's alibis cleared up. <laughs> we should remember all of this in case we need to recall these events again. Alibis from yesterday has been recorded. That leaves... Kaito and Maki as the only ones with no alibis. I'm pretty sure that Kaito has a pretty good motive right now. Basically, just that uh, he was trying to run away from Ganta. Then one of them must be the culprit. But which one, I wonder? Any 
Mini Money Mo. Catch the culprit by it. Stop using my tactics, Angie. Hold up. Don't decide just yet. Two prime suspects, Kaido and Maki. But something inside me doesn't want to accuse Kaido. I want to believe Kaido. Until he's proven guilty, I will trust him. Uh, maybe we should determine the sequence of events. The culprit w No, we should do something more fun. And I have the perfect idea. Scramble it! What? We narrowed it down to two people. And one of those two is the culprit, right? Since we don't have to randomly accuse each other, finding the truth just got much easier. So let's find the truth with a more effective method. I have a coin! I will flip it! Coin it heads or tails! And what is this effective method? Coin toss! If one of them is the culprit, then the innocent one should know who the guilty one is. Yeah? But really, uh, if that doesn't work, we can try coins. I collect coins on the weekends, you know. I have like a book, and I put the coins in them, and then you look at the coins, and you say, Look at all my coins! Because if you know you're not the culprit, then you can just accuse the other person. Yes, that is true. Which means there is one person among us who definitely knows who the culprit is. <laughs> to that someone who knows, do your best to convince us. Work harder. Work harder? Have the two argue for their innocence. That's how we'll decide our culprit. Even if we did that, wouldn't they just pass the blame back and forth? And... Huh? You guys talk about cooperation and teamwork, but you're all afraid. You're too scared to point your fingers at others, so you hide behind the word trust. How do you expect to find the culprit when you're all worried about each other's feelings? If you're planning to expose a liar, then you have to corner them psychologically. Yeah, you should know, Kokichi, since you're our, one of the biggest liars we've ever met, but then again, but that's part of your charm! Only then will they reveal their true self as a liar, hiding beneath a layer of deceit! <laughs> Oh my gosh, like I said, Kokichi's my favorite character, so, in the series. If we want to find the liar, I suggest that the two suspects argue against each other. No more pointless deductions. All we need is for them to fight for their lives. I do so many poses! an argument that's totally not boring, but super fun! Just like my weekends! They get which I do all of these poses during my choreography classes on the weekends. It's around noon! It's after the ceramic plate making class. And right before my bur And right before my bird watchers anonymous club. Look at the culprit in their lives when we find a contradiction. We'll scare the culprit until they screw up! That's how a true class trial works. <laughs> Actually, uh, uh, Kokichi kind of has a point. Right, Monokuma? <laughs> a development like that would liven things up a bit! Yep, I totally agree. You're agreeing with Monokuma? Just whose side are you on? I'm on the side of the weekend! I'm on your side. I don't want to die either, you know. That's why we need to take this seriously. Hot to beat this. No doubt the lie. <laughs> and how do you expect us to start this? If you guys need some help getting started, I can give out the first topic. The weekend. Our first topic is this. Ta-da! Literally, every face that Kukichi makes is brilliant. And every execution is just so wonderful. The Cubs pad. Not just any Cubs pad, but the one given to our latest victim, Ryoma. When we started investigating, I went straight to his room to borrow. And which room did you find in, Kokichi? So, it wasn't the culprit who took the video from his room. It was you. And the reason why I brought it out just for this occasion is... Smoke the liar? Because one of these two had Ryoma's Moda video. Dun dun dun! One of these two had it? And for us to figure that out, we need to know who this motive video belongs to. Take a guess, everyone. Whose motive video did Ryoma have? 
the motive video that Ryoma had, was it Kaios or Makis? I should know the answer. Maki? That's it! Yeah, because we're trusting Kaido! We trust him! It was Maki's motive video, right? Oh, how did you ever guess? Power friendship? Ooh, I know, I know! It's because the motive video that you have belongs to Kaito! Alright, that! Process of elimination wins again. The obvious answer was Maki. I like how I like how just all of my reasoning is just so convoluted and twisted. Like it's just literally like trying to walk. It's trying to get to somewhere by walking serpentine when you could get there by walking in a straight line. Is that true, Shuichi? Yes, you're right. And what about that? Just because Ryoma had my motive video, that doesn't make me the culprit. <laughs> Finally, you said something! This is how a debate should be. I only brought up the motive video to make you talk. Excuse me? Okay, now that we got the party rolling, let's get you and Kaito ready to argue. Well, get your boxing gloves, you'll be like kangaroos! Remember, if you're not the culprit, then that means the other one is. I love this. Let's start this extreme death debate. Tear up the other's lies. Rip each other apart. Wait just a minute. What are you trying to- Quit screwing around! We don't need to debate who's a culprit! I'm not the culprit! That's for sure. Which means... I can wait. Maybe Kokichi is wrong. Maybe he- But Maki isn't the culprit either! Uh huh? What? Huh? Really? You're saying neither of you are the culprit? Then what would be the point of this whole debate? Who cares about that? All I know is that neither me or Maki are the culprit. It's just a hunch I've got. Uh, a hunch? Are you being serious? You do know all our lives are on the line here, right? And you're betting our lives on just a hunch? Hmm, huh. you don't get it. This isn't just any hunch. This is an official hunch from the Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. Kaito, please tell me that this hunch isn't coming from the same place as your I'm gonna win a gambling hunch. What? How illogical. This is even more difficult to comprehend than Kokichi's antics. You're totally not serious. You can't be that stupid, right? No, he might actually be that stupid. Kanko, if you, I swear, if you start going into a rant about how males are biologically inferior to females... Damn idiot! <laughs> Otoadon's idiot! <laughs> hey, don't call me an idiot! Anyway, me and Maki aren't the culprit. There's no doubt about it. I believe in Maki. Even though she's incredibly suspicious... What? ...and threatens everyone with pain... You believe in her? But based on what? Huh? I don't gotta base it on anything. No matter where the clues point. In the end, the only thing that matters is what I believe, right? Whether I believe or not. Whether I want to believe or not. That's the only thing that matters. So, you do not have any evidence. Only baseless conjecture. He's coming from because I want to believe in Himiko too. Yeah, I believe, huh? Yeah, I think I understand that. Wanting to believe in someone is a beautiful act, yes. However, it is a sentiment that has no place in a class trial. He's an idiot after all. We're going to scrum debate. I can guess okay it. to be idiot as long as you believe in people. Guys, I said don't call me an idiot. Really hurts my feelings. Hey, Gon's on your side, Kaido. Heh, <laughs> it's true. That's not what a class trial is about. You're supposed to think logically. You can't let your feelings get into it. It's absurdity, total absurdity. But then again, that absurdity saved me before, right? Why? Why do you trust me, Kaido? There's a chance that I'm the call. I believe in you because I want to! Do I need a reason other than that? What? Isn't that what you believe in Kayate? 
I mean, sure, I might get betrayed in the end, but if I worry about that, I won't be able to believe in people. I want to believe in. Uh, sorry about that pause. If I trust my logic, maybe I should trust Kaido's feelings too. Yeah, it'll work out in the end, so. I'll believe in Maki as well. What? That's our Kaido, right? Making us think with our hearts. You too? How could the ultimate detective believe in someone without proof? But there's no Power friendship. linking Maki or Kaido to this crime either. I believe in innocent until proven guilty. For now, they are innocent. That's all how it works in Weekend Court! Right on, Shuichi! I knew I picked a good sidekick! Uh, and by the way, I might be the ultimate detective, but I'm in training. I told you that, didn't I? I'm just an apprentice, I'm not a real detective. You've ruined Kokichi. Look at that Kokichi face. He's the gears are spinning in his head. How do you plan to get closer to the truth without suspecting either of them? Unless you have evidence to the contrary, these two will remain suspect. So I just have to turn it around, right? Huh? It's not like I owe that idiot a favor or anything just because he defended me. But that hopeless idiot may have encouraged me a bit. Seriously, enough's enough. Stop calling me an idiot! <laughs> what are you trying to say, Maki? I didn't want to say anything, but I can't stay silent forever. So I'll tell you. Oh? Tell us what? I met up with Ryoma during nighttime yesterday. Oh my gosh, did you mistake him for a child and try to take him into your child lab? But oh my god, it's like this picture, we almost trying to run from Ganta, and then Maki, she just grabs his shoulder and starts dragging him into the lab. What are you doing? What are you doing? Maki, Maki, get your hands off me. Come on, come on, baby boy, I need you. I need to read stories. No, no, you can't do this. Maki, Maki, I'm not a child. I'm a man, I went to jail. So Ryoma was still alive at night time? Oh my gosh! Ryoma! Ryoma died trying to escape the childcare lab! That's wrong, because I met up with Ryoma during that time. If that's true, then we have no basis for suspecting only Kaito and Maki. That's right! Everyone suspected them, because they no have alibis for those times. That means me and Maki aren't suspects anymore! Quit fucking around! You think I'm dumb enough to swallow that line of crap? Yes. This seems too convenient. But why did Maki wait until now to mention that? Because she didn't want to? <laughs> it's totally obvious! Maki's so desperate that she has to lie! Was that a lie? Did Maki lie to us? If it's true, we don't have all the facts. But why would Maki say that of all the time of all the times? If I trust her answers, I should believe her statement. But should I? Intermission! Yay! No, I don't want to save the game. Even though I know that bit me in the ass last time. Now then. <laughs> it seems the voting is finished. Now then, let's see the result. Who'll be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the definitely wrong one? W wait a second! What result? Voting time hasn't happened yet! Aww. Yes, it has! Don't you remember Monosuke? No, it hasn't! You're the one! You're the one who doesn't remember Monotaro! Oh man, you're right! Silly me! I'm so forgetful! Yeah. Wow! I didn't expect you all to get so worked up over such a small lie! You kids are pretty gullible, huh? Now then. Well, anyways, let's just get the child and jump ahead to chapter 3! Well, wait a second! We don't know who the culprit is yet! Yeah, who killed Rantaro? That was Chapter 1's case! How can you be this forgetful? Resume the trial, come on! Another shocking truth we found! Back to square one. <laughs> Square one? If square one, they wouldn't have got eaten by the competition. 
After that terrible movie, they had no other choice. Wow! What does that mean? It means he doesn't want to get involved in another pointless argument. Like right now, this one. You're on the threshold of an amazing adventure. Okay. We shouldn't listen to anything Maki says. She's just gonna throw out more lies. And that's my job! But if we don't ask her for more details, how will we know for sure? I told you already, we don't need to. I hate liars. Liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> Except you love yourself, Kokichi, and we love you too. More one to talk. <laughs> Maki, just ignore that lying little degenerate. We'll listen to what you have to say. It must have been a little after midnight last night. He visited me at my research lab. Or you kidnapped him. I, like I said, why do I have the feeling that Maki, she she may act knuckle, but she secretly just loves her. She's really this, like, fluffy, she likes fluffy, cute things. She loves children. She likes cats. She likes dogs. She likes am hamsters. She likes all things cute and fluffy and children. And she has, like, this lab that's just so cute and cheerful and bright and sunny. And she's just embarrassed of it. And when Ryoma came by, she just chucked him in because she wanted an actual child to work with. He wanted me to show him the motive video that I received. Motive video? If Ryoma came to ask about that, does that mean you had his motive video? As I, get... I recall, Ryoma had Maki's motive ah. video. He, he probably assumed that she, that since she, she, eh, since he had hers, she had his. Does this mean you and Ryoma received one another's motive video? I actually didn't check the one I got, so I wouldn't know. Maki admitted earlier that she hadn't checked her cub's pet. Then why did Ryoma think that Maki had his motive? Well, because he had hers. If he went around asking at random, he might have asked some people besides Maki. Well, at least it's a good place to start because he could say, Hey, I have your motive video. He never asked me. He probably never asked you guys either, right? Then, who was it that told Ryoma about his cub's pet? Who told Ryoma that Maki had his mode video? It would have to be someone who knew about each pad. Okay, I don't like doing this, but Kokichi... It's you! That would be Kokichi. Cubs fans got to catch them all! Just you and me! Just living our destiny! You help me and I help you! Pokemon! Got to catch them! Oh! Have to kill everyone! I even got the pads belong to people who aren't here! <laughs> now everyone can watch their motive video! And we'll have fun! And we'll record them on the EBR! And we'll do lots and like a top 10 ranking video! So, you saw the motive videos. Did you tell Ryoma that Maki had his? When males get this quiet, they're either caught in a lie or thinking dirty thoughts. Ugh, Tenko, Tenko, Tenko. And when you're this loud, Tenko, you're thinking your Tenko thoughts. I don't even know. I don't even have a good comeback. You're not even worth the comebacks, Tenko. What happened then, Maki? After Ryoma asked you for his motive video. I told Ryoma just to take it from my room. I keep my room unlocked. That's a risky move. Maki, that's super careless. Aren't you scared someone might kill you in your sleep? Actually, no, they won't kill you because I go in there and I stroke your hair. I watch you when you're sleeping and I, like I said, I stroke your hair. Like I just run the back of my palm against your head and just, I say, oh, soft. Oh, so soft. It gives me life. And then what happened? I don't know what happened after that. I'm not even sure if he saw his motive video. When he asked me. He said that he would show me my motive video in return. But I wasn't interested, so I declined. And that's pretty much it. So you don't even know if Ryoma saw his motive video? What a bunch of crap! If Maki met with Ryoma at nighttime, that proves he was still alive then. Which means, even though we don't have alibis from 8 to 10, Maki and me aren't suspects! If that story is true. It's true. Then why did you wait until now to bring that up? I didn't say anything until now because I wasn't in the mood to be suspected. Suspected? 
said. What for? Murder? Jibumi said it earlier. It seems that Ryoma and I had each other's motive videos. That's pretty fishy, right? So I didn't want to mention it to avoid suspicion. You didn't say anything because you weren't in the mood? It is quite selfish to keep this information hidden because you were not in the mood. Well, whatever. Either way, let's just believe Maki. Yes, yes! Those who believe shall be saved! Is that the is that something you write on a banner and place outside your commune, Angie? Back where you come from? I don't know. No, we need to wait. There is still more to confirm. Well then, why don't we ask Kokichi? Huh? What now? You never answered my question. Were you the one who told Ryoma that Maki had his motive video? Is that really important? Yes, it is important. Because if Kokichi told Ryoma... And he saw Ryoma. It becomes more likely that Ryoma visited Maki during nighttime. I see. Kokichi's response may help corroborate Maki's testimony. Now you understand why I don't want your charade. I want the truth. Well, Kokichi, did you tell Ryoma? You said it earlier. I don't want to die, right? If you really don't want to die, then you better tell us the truth. Here comes the dramatic turnabout. Now I'm the one pressured by Maki. Da 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 Oh my gosh. Why are you used to turn music? Bad thing, from that. Right? He wanted to know, so I told him. Have you seen everyone's motive video? No, not yet. I was gonna wait until we hosted like a movie screening party. I just checked who had who's so I could give them back to everyone after. Hmm. I see. Anyway, if Kokichi told Ryoma that, then he must have gone to see Maki. That means Maki's telling the truth. Ryoma was alive during nighttime. No, we cannot be too sure about that yet. Even if Ryoma and Maki did meet, it does not mean it was during nighttime yesterday. <laughs> so you still suspect me? I am saying it could still be a possibility. If there is still a small chance of you being the culprit, then I cannot trust you entirely. Because everyone's lives are at stake. Then which is it? A lie? Or not lie. She's not lying. Can't you tell just by looking at her? If it was that easy, we'd be done by now. No, this is a world of lies and betrayal. Himiko, it breaks my heart to hear you say depressing things. On the contrary, it actually turns me on. I find Maki's testimony suspicious. It's far too convenient for her. Scrum debate time! This now are we going to scrum? To determine. Maki is lying. Like I said before, a liar like me knows their own kind. I can smell it out like a bloodhound! I'm not lying. I did meet up with Ryoma during that time. I'm telling the truth. Is it a lie or the truth? This is the turning point. This will change the fate of this case. And I, I said I would believe in Kaido, and that means I believe in Maki. And that means I have to do it. I need us to be on the same page. I have to, ch I have to change where this argument is going, just like Kayate did. Oh, we're not scrumming it? Okay, that's a, that's a little sad. Okay. Sorry, just want to do it. It's not gonna be that. Let's see the insect mean greet. Okay. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna be just. I'll keep this. Yes, I didn't meet with anyone else. Wait, it says night, right? Yeah. Did anyone see those two together? Okay. Surely they would have come forward already. If no one can prove that this meeting took place, 
Then there is no reason to believe your testimony, I'm afraid. I've, I think it's gonna be just she winter dorms at night. Liar, 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 liar. Then it's the same as an outright lie. I can't say the two of them met. Now that's. I can convince them that Maki met up with someone. What a load of crap! Maki only seen Ryoma at night? Okay. Yes, I didn't meet with anyone else. Did anyone see those two together? Surely they would have come forward already. If no one can to place. I don't understand. Does that mean Maki met with Ryoma that night? I was wrong! Ugh. I met with Ryoma the previous night. Okay. What a load of crap! Maki only see Ryoma at night? Yes, I didn't meet with anyone else. Did anyone pass two together? Yeah. Surely they would have come forward. Ah. I can prove this meeting took place. Then there is no reason to believe your testimony, I'm afraid. I suspected Maki is lying to us. If you can't prove your point. Okay, I think it's gonna be like a lie. I, I'm not even sure. What a load of crap! I agree, blah blah blah. Did Maki only see Ryoma at night? Yes, I didn't meet with anyone else. Did anyone see those two together? Surely they would have come through. I just want to do it. I think it's, I have to lie. I have to lie. I have to fight with more lies. What a load of crap! Maki only see Ryoma at night. Yes, I didn't meet with them else. Did anyone see those two together? Surely they would have come forward. Oh! I only deal with truth. Treasury. I might not be able to prove they met, but I can prove. Okay, now this is getting vague with the lies. Oh, please explain. Whoa, I got it. Why? Well, Kaito and I train together every night. Oh, but you know, okay, but good. I don't think we're doing any recalls. That that's actually really great. And yesterday, because of the insect meet and greet, we started late. Huh? Ah, Kaito, don't worry. You don't have to say anything. Anyway, we were doing some frog squats on the school stairs. When we heard two people talking. People talking? We knew one of them was Maki, but we couldn't pick out the other one. But now that I think about it, it must have been Ryoma. What? Uh, yeah, maybe. That was probably around midnight. Wait a minute! If you heard their voices, then that means... So Ryoma and Maki did meet up. No, no, hold up! Why'd you sit on that info for so long? Because until just now, I didn't think it was relevant. I had no reason to bring it up. Now, now. We don't know if Maki was really talking to Ryoma, right? That is true. If I knew for certain, I would have said so sooner. But considering the circumstances, I can't imagine it being anyone but Ryoma. None of us were talking to Maki last night, correct? So it must have been him. <laughs> Nobody say you suddenly remember talking to Maki. It's way too late for that. We were like half point. Did confirm who Maki was talking to at the time? If I overheard a conversation in the middle of the night, I surely would have checked. So you can ask them if they want warm milk before bed? We are still part of a killing game after all. Whoa, whoa, chill out. Why the scary face? That was my bad, but it's not really manly to eavesdrop, you know? I wouldn't do something so uncool. Anyway, I know that we heard those voices. Maki is not lying. Then Gota will believe, friends. You gonna believe him? Just like that? But we no reason to lie. Yes. If his lie leads us to the wrong culprit, he will join us in eternal sleep. Unless he wishes for death, we should be able to believe him. 
That's right. You can believe me. Why are we gonna get into a scrum debate? It always seems like we're gonna get one, and then all of a sudden, not stop. Right. I'll believe him too. The Eve shall set you free. I'd be so surprised if Shuichi was a liar, especially after we believed him for so long. We wouldn't be able to trust anyone anymore. Well, it's not like he's lying anyway. I know you are. I can sense it. I have like infinite vision. I'm like a predator. Right, that proves it then. Ryoma was still alive during nighttime. In other words, me and Maki aren't suspects anymore. <laughs> but I guess that means everyone's alibis no longer matter, yes? We'll answer that question next time. Anyways, I really appreciate that you took around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer. I hope you come back for the next one. If you like the video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want. And with that, I'll see you later. Bye.